Dynamic rollover can occur when a helicopter is taking off or landing, or hovering too low. The pilot must be careful of any lateral or rearward movement when contacting the ground. The thrust of the main rotor may cause it to roll until a critical angle is reached that cannot be recovered from. Cyclic inputs will not have a sufficient effect to correct this action. To help prevent dynamic rollovers from occurring, pilots must use a proper two-stage pull-up when lifting the helicopter off the ground and be wary of the skids being stuck in mud or getting caught on an obstruction, such as a taxiway light, while hovering. The only technique for recovery when a dynamic rollover starts to happen is to lower the collective before the critical angle is reached. This will eliminate the thrust produced by the main rotor. On December 9, 1999, this CH-46 C Knight helicopter came up short on landing during a training exercise off the coast of San Diego. The landing gear got caught in the netting on the back of the ship, causing it to roll over inverted into the ocean. Tragically, seven marines lost their lives in this incident. Dynamic rollover is just one of the many hazards that helicopter pilots must be aware of. They must always be focused and aware of the factors affecting their flights on any given day such as wind, weather, and obstructions in the terrain. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with someone that you think might appreciate it.